Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people, the Niemer here with another card quest video. So last time we unlocked the changeling class and I still need to unlock the Arbalist, but uh, I want an arcane bow first to see what it does and then I'll decide if I'm gonna be using the arcane bow or the dwarven hand bow or hand bow? I forgot what the name is, let me just start a new game here. So we're playing a hunter, we're gonna be playing changeling because I wanna see what the two protective strangle wines are. And uh, well, I'll see if I'm gonna use hand crossbows or the new bow, but I need to unlock it first. So I'm gonna be playing sharpshooting, fairy bow, witch quiver. <laughs> well, I wanna try this one out. Seems like pretty cool. If we go with the rune crafters mask and runes of greed, we'll be able to get some HP back and well, get really powerful. Same reason for the vampire arrow. I'm gonna be playing YOLO the board and I'm gonna be replacing my items for the last fight to make things a little bit easier, maybe. Replacing the, the Runecrafter's Mask with something more useful and um, yeah, something like that. Anyhow, let's start here. Read the forest, help one out of three, two out of three. What's that? I never saw that before. Three out of three. Okay, cool. So here we are. I'm going to go through Wolfwoods, Black Castle, Spiderwoods and then go and kill the beast. And then once we are done with uh, this... I'll be doing uh, mountains again and try to unlock the arbalist. Anyhow, this should be like three episodes or something like it usually is. So let's go. Entering green woods, uh, the wind gently moves the leaves of countless trees as you gaze upon the edge of the largest forest known to man. You've heard many tales about this place, wild beasts, bandits and crazier things like men eating spiders and even trees that walk. So many stories actually that you can't separate the truth from the myth, but you're after one particular tale today. The legendary beast, the Forest King. Surely if anyone was to slay it, they would gain everlasting fame if the entire kingdom, in the entire kingdom, with determination you step into the woods. Okay, so here we are. I want to be, uh, oh, hello there. I want to be using this as much as possible, so let's use it right away. Uh... Makes your next shot undodgeable, grants regeneration plus one for one turn. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, I'm not a huge fan of this hand though. Well, I already use an item so I cannot redraw. Whoopsie daisies. Right. Um, bam. Well, I don't have the rune of greed anyway, so. Not that I can do anything with that. Okay, I'm just gonna end the turn here. Do the plant escape. Oh. What? Each charge blocks one attack for free and deals free damage. Okay, that's pretty good. What does that do? Hideout. Two until recover hours or plant escape card is played or all charges are consumed. So we have five armor for first two attacks. That's pretty good pretty good gonna tell you that i'm not gonna use that one just yet and then i used it by accident but i can do that i guess <laughs> uh, sticky fingers i was like i'm not gonna use that one and then yeah anyhow i'm gonna need a defensive shot here we have it that's fine oh Oops. Okay. Um, that's not the best start, but we'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna do a really strong uh, build anyway. So, anyhow. Okay. So we got the wolf, distant, unaware. This one has a ranged attack. Okay. Draw and recover one hour. Next shot deals plus six and gains one kill. Gain one and draw. Uh, okay. Next shot. So that's a witch arrow. Doesn't stack with vampire arrows, I assume. Okay, okay, okay. So can we one shot this dude regardless? I'm not actually sure. Uh, I'm actually not sure. So if you use that now and do like this, it's not gonna one shot it. Um, well, I can do that. So that oh, this deals nine damage. Oh, that also gives bonus damage. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, um, um, let's get that back. Okay, I'm gonna use that. There we go. Gonna use that. 
Next shot has plus two. Okay, cool. There we go. So we'll be able to cast a lot of these runes of greed and get our HP back. And that's going to be kind of insane. Hide out. All right. There we go. So they are unaware of us. Um, well, I need to kill these two, probably. Uh, let's start with that. There. So the plan here is to heal a lot by using a vampire arrow and the other arrow, the witch arrow, and get a whole bunch of cash with the runes of greed and just be uh, amazingly powerful. So how much damage will that do? It should do free damage, but did the dog die on one try? I I believe that was the case, right? No, it did not. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's the reach arrow, so that's good. That's good. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> so we can heal for two each fight that's insane okay we're gonna get one damage here the rune of greed i'm gonna start buying dimensional runes soon just not just yet oh hello you there bear okay we got a witch arrow right away that's really nice uh, okay let's use the rune of greed let's use the witch arrow to kill one of the wolves okay let's use the vampire arrow kill the other wolf okay setup is done now i just need to finish the fight easy life easy game i'm not gonna use that one so this one here i can use it a couple of times because i will heal a little bit after the final fight but if possible uh, possible i'm gonna avoid using it I should probably not need it before the last fight anyway, so... Well, before we get into a little bit harder territory anyway. So I'm, I'm using Rune of Greed because I'm not buying all the dimensional runes I can here because I want to save up some money for the eventual shop, so... Let me just check, am I recording this? I am. Hello, there are spritey sprites. Uh... Mm. We can do better, I think. I want the witch arrow if possible. Well, there's the witch arrow, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna discard that so I don't play it by accident. Okay, cool. Let's use the rune of greed. Let's use that. Cool. Um. Okay, our health objectives are done, so now I just have to kill everything, that should be too hard. So yeah, this is like, the, probably one of the strongest setup you can go for, I guess. And then when you don't think, uh, when things become a little bit tough, you can just replace all of these items using YOLO. <laughs> it broke the game, basically. Well, not really, I mean, in order to get YOLO, you don't need to finish the game first, so... This is like our reward for uh, doing well. Okay, another rune of greed here. Well, this might be a bit tricky. Are you gonna charge us? No. Uh, well, I got my witch arrow, which is good. I don't have anything to shoot with though, which is not good. So I'm gonna mulligan here. So I'm gonna heal only for one this fight, but that's fine. And that's fine. Okay. Um, let's start with that. That also draws a card and I'm not using it. So I should keep that in mind. It's not a deal, big deal just yet, but eventually I do wanna do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Kill the boar. No. Kill the boar. 
There you go. I still might uh, like draw into the witch arrow, I guess. But I'm not gonna force it. Not too much anyway. Let's see if we draw into it. That's actually pretty good. Let's keep our health nice and high. There we go, witch arrow. Uh, we could also like play two witch arrows per fight, I guess. Yeah, I guess that would be a possibility, right? Um, just one moment. Okay, first attack in every battle deals plus two. Okay, okay. Well, I like stamina the most, so that's what I'm gonna take. Another rune of greed here. Let me take one dimensional rune just to have it, just in case. So this is the boss fight of this area. This thing charges real far. Okay, uh, let's see now. Well, this is a K hand, I'd say. I need to kill, well, I need to kill, kill everything but the boar, really. So how do I want to play this out? Let's drop these two. Let's use the uh, vampire arrow. Kill one of the archers. There we go. Then I'm gonna break the chain. I'm gonna play the witch arrow. Um... That's pretty cheap and draws two cards. Deals one damage to us, but that's fine. Okay. So I want to land a witch arrow one of these. I mean, it's not really mandatory, but... Okay, then I want to, let's see, I would like to kill these two if I can. Okay, that's not gonna draw me a card, but what if I do that? Is that a chain breaker? No, it's a chain maker, that's cool. In there, draw some cards. Okay, let's uh, use that, so I don't forget. And I'm uh, gonna end the turn here and just plant escape the boar. Uh, let's see, do that, do that. Mm. Extra deals plus two makes the target unaware. Now well, I could do four arrows here. There we go. There we go. Gets furious. Well, you can go furious all you want, but your fate is uh, sealed. Yeah, it's pretty easy. There we go. Okay, well, first area done. Two more to go for this video. We have a lot of cash, so everything's going as planned. Living Green Woods. As you sit on a stump and take some time to rest, your eyes settle on the giant boar's lifeless carcass. Though that, its eyes still seem filled with some kind of beastly rage. Looking away, you take some time to think about your next step. You know a small village of woodcutters not far from here. They could have good information about the forest and its beastly king. But you also notice the boar left a path of torn bushes behind, going back deep into the woods. It could be an easier path to replace territory. Well, I don't really care. Uh, I'm used to this one though, so I might go here. What's there? A manticore. This thing has dodge. I don't like that. Let's go here. Entering logging village, after a few minutes of walking, you find yourself at the edge of a large clearing with several wooden houses at the center. Something seems off though. As you get closer, you hear screams and see people running around. Bandits are raiding the village. 
You rush in to help the villagers, but suddenly a lumberjack comes out of the shadows brandishing his axe and charging with a crazed look on his face. You have no choice but to take him out. Before you know it, you're stuck between the bandits and the frenzied lumberjacks fighting for your life. Is that so? Is that so? Well, let's fight for our life then, I guess. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let me use the rune of greed. Let me use the that. Let me use that and that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna use that, I guess. Do that. It's okay. Just have to be careful not to use any other arrows until I heal up. There we go. Anyone else? Nope, that's good. Let's get one of those. Again, I want my witching arrow, so I'm gonna mulligan here. Okay, use the rune of grit. There we go. Fair eye shot. Uh, so let's use the vampire arrow and forgot to draw a card. That's fine. Oh, there's the witch arrow. Okay, witch arrow, face shot. Okay, I need to use the runecrafter's mask. And that's it. We can finish the fight. <laughs> I'm gonna be insanely rich here. <laughs> I can cast Rune of Greed each fight. <laughs> How much gold can we get? Is there an achievement for getting a lot of gold in this game? Hmm. Uh, free brigands. We are getting very lucky with enemies as well. Pretty easy fights. Uh, I messed that one up. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. I'm gonna be one HP short. Boo hoo. Okay. Uh, let me draw a card here. Well, that's what I want. A witch arrow. So I'm gonna do that. 11. Cool. Okay. Use the crafter's mask and bam. Oh, something's not right. I have a planned escape and a distracting shot. And let's get a couple more cards here just in case. But we should be all right. There you go. Oh, there's a witch arrow. So gonna get that HP back anyway. Huzzah! Um, mm, yep, everything else we used, so... Gold, 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 gold. Uh, so I like that to protect myself against chargers. Although I do have strangle wines. No, let's just take it anyway. Hello there, mad lumberjacks. So all of these are ranged attackers, actually. Uh, well, I got my concentration, so I'm gonna keep this hand, although I can't say I'm a huge fan. Okay, I got my witch arrow, that's good. So, let's go for the lumber trucks, I guess. And I messed it up again, good job, good job. I have to use that first. Hey, what can you do? Oh, that gave me stamina back. That's pretty cool, actually. Wait, didn't it shoot last time? Oh, it was unaware or something. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna need an attack here. Give me it the attack it. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna scroll for another witch arrow. I just don't feel like it. Okay, let's get another rune of greed. Okay, now let's use it first. 
Okay, uh, we got a bit sure as far how much damage then good. Drop that, drop that, uh, draw a card, do that. Well, I'm a little bit bad with drawing cards here, but. Uh, does that count for counter shot? I wonder. Hmm. Nope. Okay. I'm done. No matter. No matter. No matter. No matter. Okay. Let's do. Once we get into the harder fights, I might be a bit more careful about that whole situation. But well, I got my witch arrow anyway, so. Which arrow is kind of OP. Um, gonna grab another dimensional rune here. There we go. Well, I got my concentration, so I guess that's fine. Okay, let's drop that. Let's kill one of the archers. I get one HP back. Okay, drop that. Drop that. Draw. Let's use that so I don't forget. There you go. Okay, uh, five damage. That's good enough for the archer. Uh, that's not gonna be good enough, but I'm just gonna cycle a little bit here. There we go. Well, I got my planned escape, so I'm just gonna end the turn here. Okay, let's see now. Let's use the inner strength, a bit shadow. How much damage? Nine. That's good. Oh, another bit shadow. Not that I really need it, but. Okay, that's 14. Bye bye. Okay, so we are at the next boss fight here. This is pretty easy to play as well. Another rune of greed. <laughs> I'm so rich. Okay, well, I need to kill his lumberjacks first. Okay, this is a bit harder fight though. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan here, even though I have everything I really want. I want like. Huh. Do I? Yeah, I kind of do. I want a mulligan here. I want card draw, but I do have either strength. You know what? Let's say that's okay. Might regret that, but they're all unaware, so they're probably fine here anyway. Okay. Uh, okay let's draw a card. Face shot, five damage. Uh, let's use the vampire arrow here and do that. No, I can draw with four form arrows if I really need to. Draw and recover one. Next shot deals plus two. Makes target unaware and poisons for two. For oh right, that's kind of really good actually. I did not even take into account that uh, I can make enemies unaware. That's gonna make him double un unaware? Let's see. No, it's only unaware one. Okay, so that doesn't work, I guess. Uh, let's do that. It's a little bit painful, but uh, we can, we can, we can do it. Like any arrow, anything. There we go. All right. I can do which arrow here. Okay, werewolf. 
show me what you can do. 40 dam, 40 health, calls 4 wolves, that's 20. So we should be a tiny bit careful here, but probably gonna be okay. Mm. Oh, actually, that's gonna put us in the Fey Realm. We are like, we have to be careful. Nah, we need safety, right? <laughs> ah, crazy times. Uh, wait, what? Was that wolf unaware for like a second there? Ah, it feels like, it felt like that. How much damage will that do? 13. Well, I need a little bit more oomph here. Gonna use my board friend and gonna do that. Okay, on blinding arrow. Still can't kill him. Oh, I actually can. Never mind that. Well, I got a little bit lucky here. Lucky, lucky. Okay, let's use that. And let's finish the fight. Okay, we have a really strong setup here. The... I don't know why I'm doing so well, actually. It's like... I mean, this is okay, but it's not turbo powerful. This is basically doing nothing for us in the fight. And this... Uh... <laughs> I guess it's just a very strong setup. Chris max by one, no, I want this one. Enemies receive vulnerable for two turns. Then we get five HP, which we don't need. Huzzah. There we go, our first merchant. We're gonna buy off everything. Get Living Logging Village. Uh, when the chaos finally settles, you ask the remaining villagers about what happened. Ever since the Countess man stopped coming to protect the village, these bandits have been pillaging us without mercy. Pillaging. Hans and his companions had gone deep into the woods to get powers from the Moonstone and defend the village, but they came back completely mad. If the bandits hadn't attacked now, they would probably have killed us. After hearing their story, you think about going towards the Countess castle through the bog or going into the woods to look for that Moonstone. Well, I'm gonna go where there's item which I don't have yet, so that's gonna be in the in the wolf woods. I'm gonna be fighting the moon touched. Moon touched? Hmm, I think I fought this like once maybe. <laughs> Is that always the last place I go to? Could be. Anyhow, let's go here. Entering wolf woods. You've been walking for hours now, and the sky is getting darker by the minute. It will be night soon, and already the moon is shining a pale blue light through the branches. And finally, you'll hear them. The wolves, howling it into the night. The wolves, howling in the night sky, ready for a night of hunting. It won't be long before they find you. Further into the woods, a faint eerie light is shining. The howls seem to come from there. You step forward. All oh, right, we're gonna be fighting some works here. Uh, oh, they are like just regular wolves, just bigger, so probably not a huge threat. Famous last words, right? Well, I don't have my witch arrow, so I'm gonna mulligan here. Okay. So I don't think I can kill this on one go, right? So I have to like ping them a little bit and then finish them off with uh, a um, something, something. So how much damage is that? Seven. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do the vampire arrow. And then we're gonna do the finishing blow. There we go. And again, I forgot to use my Lune of Greed. There we go. Ah, Celavi, Celavi. What can you do? Draw, drop. Draw. I got Y which are already right. Yep, I did. Okay. What 
can you do? Now I've got plant escape and counter shot, so that's probably good enough, right? No hidden enemies, so. It is. Okay, let's draw a little bit here. Uh, let's shoot. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. I don't know which arrow. No matter. I shall be fine without one HP. Okay, another rune of greed. Okay, well, werewolf has to go first. Uh, wolf, not dangerous. These, not dangerous. So, only the werewolf really is the big threat. Uh, well, I could probably one shot something if I do that. That's 10. That should be 12. With vulnerability. So, I'm gonna get that HP back. Good. Let's use the rune of greed, though. Okay, let's use that arrow. Kill one of the... Oh, I can actually kill the werewolf. So works have a lot more HP than the werewolves themselves. Drop that. Um, yeah. Okay. I was like, should I cycle for the witch arrow? And I'm like, nah. Well, let's use that though. It would be a shame not to do it. Anything else I want to use? No, not really. Okay. This will be the easiest run ever if I don't mess up. I think so, anyway. Okay, another rune of greed. There we go. Four werewolves. Oh, no. So scary. I don't have the witch arrow, so I'm gonna mulligan. Well, I have concentration now, so that's fine. Let's use the rune of greed. Okay, drop that, drop that. Uh, vampire arrow. Yeah, that should be enough to kill one of these, right? Seven, nine. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm uh, not gonna play that. Okay, there's the witch arrow, so I'm gonna kill one of them now. Good. Again, oh, <laughs> I wanted to say again, I could cycle for the witch arrow, but blah blah. Anyway, here it is. Anyway, let me use that one first though, and then that one I need to actually uh, draw a shot. So. We're back to 13, 13. It was only a matter of time before we draw which arrow back to back, so. Alpha wolves. <laughs> that looks so silly. I mean, I thought alpha works. Those are like wolves on steroids. <laughs> okay, oh, that sucks though, so. Okay, that's good. Let me use the rune of greed and oh, let's kill. Uh, first, I'm gonna do the alpha wolves again i did not draw a card off of that that's definitely a mistake but we are super powerful so it will not punish us still not playing optimally here okay now i want to use the witch arrow probably but let's draw some cards first okay drop that draw drop that draw Drop that, do that. There you go. Okay, now we're full HP. Oh, we entered the Fey Realm. Cool. Okay, let's do that. Throw some more arrows. I'm not gonna use form arrows unless I absolutely have to. There. Oh no, did not use the Runecrafter's mask. Doesn't matter. Um, so that's 100 gold less. But I have so much already that... Feral man transforms into werewolf after two turns, throws javelins when distant. So definitely we need to kill the feral mans and I feel like killing this one as well. Other than that, well, I have a witch arrow so I'm gonna mulligan here. Okay, let me use a uh, vampire's arrow and kill one of the feral men. There we go. Well, I have full HP anyway, so let's use four arrows here. There we go, witch arrow, get that HP back. Okay, that's it with the feral man. Now I'm gonna go for the alpha works and such. Let me use that before I forget. Let me use uh, YOLO the board as well, because why not? Do that, do that. Do that, there we go. 
anything to use here nope let me just uh, go and unleash hell on these poor doggies i mean it's not my fault that they decided to fight us right i mean it's a harsh world so okay let's do that well i'm gonna do that i mean i'm gonna draw into which arrow anyway so it's a bit longer fight than usual so I have to be careful not to go too deep with the stamina though. I want to keep some just in case. Okay, there we go. Blinding arrow, face shot. Oh, one more HP. It's gonna end the turn here. Okay, uh, let's do that and that. Cool. Oof, almost done with the wolf woods. Uh, it's going really fast. I like it. Even with the runecrafter's mask, which is usually the slowest way to play. I don't have the witch arrow here, so I'm gonna mulligan. Okay. Uh, I have concentration. So either one. Either concentration or the witch arrow is something I'm mulliganing for. There we go. I'm gonna drop that and that. And draw some cards here. And then let's do that. Kill one of the feral mans. Kill another one of the feral mans. They have ranged attacks, that's why they go first. Um, nah, another one. Okay, let me see. Drop that. Break. Draw. Okay, we got concentration. I have prepared shot. Let's use prepared shot. Then we charo. How much damage is that? 16. That's enough for the alpha work. Okay. okay. Do that. Do that. Well, we did everything, right? Yep. Cool. So I can just finish the fight now. Okay, okay, okay. Do some cards. I'm doing your strength. Do a blinding arrow. Oh! I'm out of arrows. So for this harder fights, I'll probably have to use form arrow. Gonna pick up another one of these here. There we go. Moon touched. So what do you do? Leaps when distant and draws its claws after three turns, gaining one armor break. Gain calls four wolves at 45, four works at 30, and four werewolves at 15. Okay, so I'm gonna just push him. He's gonna summon a whole bunch of enemies, but the screen is pretty much full anyway, so I'm just gonna have four more enemies to deal with. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cycle this one though. There is a witch arrow here, but uh, yeah, it's a bit risky fight, so I want my card draw. Okay, I'm gonna do prepared shot because uh, why not? Does this thing have dodge? No, it doesn't. Okay. Right, uh, let's see, let's uh, use yellow here, why not, and let's start shooting. Okay, let's recover a little bit, do that, shoot. Well, you can haul, but... You can haul, but there's no more room, so haul all you want. Uh, that was a really good decision, by the way. I'm very happy with it. Um, mm. <laughs> He's like, wow, <laughs> come and help me. There's no one to help me. Oh. Life is harsh. What can I tell you? Okay, let's do that. Uh, now, let's use that rune of greed. There you go. Let's use which arrow. Let's use that. Mm, I could use form arrows, I guess. Why not? I mean, I'm gonna need arrows, that's for sure. Okay, let me break here. Do another one. That's really good. Okay, that one is fine. 
You know what? Uh, let's also do one of these. There we go. Okay, so those are done. Now I have to kill the werewolves because they're super scary. How much is that? Seven. Um, let's get back some arrows, actually. Okay, which arrow? Fate shot. Good. Anything else I want to use? Not really. Okay. Not really. It's gonna end the turn here, I think. They're like, what happened? Like, <laughs> they they came running to the fight, and then there was like one million arrows. Their boss died. There was a whole bunch of howling, and well, then there were just two lonely wolves standing there and looking at each other. Well, not for long, anyway. I really like what kind of monstrosity I've built here. <laughs> And I'm not even using this armor from the combined strangle wines and bar and the the hideout and even without those I'm like super powerful. So there we go. But these were like the first three maps. They're pretty easy anyway. So okay, I'm gonna pick up one rune of time just in case and gonna continue here. Living wolf woods. The few remaining wolves start backing off and run away into the shadows. Run away. <laughs> Save at last. You take some time to look around and try to figure out where you are. Climbing on top of a nearby tree, you see the towers of a castle further to the east, probably the domain of the countess of these woods. It could be a good place to spend the night, but something about it feels off. Looking to the west, though, you notice a part of the wood that seems to glow in an unusual blue light. Maybe this is worth investigating. Okay, so what do we get here? We get a howling arrow. A strange arrow of unknown origin when shot when shot, it produces a piercing howl that momentarily distracts all enemies and seems to weaken them, makes all enemies unaware and gives them vulnerability. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, but it takes two turns to charge, so it's a very powerful arrow, which we don't need, so... But, but cool, cool, I guess. Cool. Okay, we got all the three keys, so we can continue from stage four if we want to. And well, that's gonna be it for this video. We are doing very well. Next time we're gonna be doing Black Castle and Spider Woods. And then in the final episode, we're gonna be doing the Beast Trail. I'm not doubting this will be super successful. So it's just gonna be walk in the park. And then, well, after that, so in three days from now, I'll be doing my mountain run to unlock the Arbalest. That will be a little bit more tricky, but we have a good plan for that. So it should be going smooth. Anyhow, if you're enjoying these, uh, then like and subscribe. We're going to be playing some more Hunter to unlock all the items. And once we are done, I'm going to be moving to Rogue or Warrior. Not sure which ones yet. Probably the one closer from the top. So whichever is first on the list. Uh, in the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something beautiful. Enjoy your life. And uh, thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode. Neomer signing out. Bye-bye.